Hi, this is Steve from Revolution Energy. We're uh, here down in Coffs Harbour, down at the, the harbour, right beside the, the boat ramp. See one of our, our neighbours, our friends, are going out for a fish. And we brought our uh, wind turbine trailer down just to do a bit of a test. She's spinning away, she's got nice, gentle breeze. One of the things that uh, these little tests are all about is just to see how it performs in different locations as we go around so currently we got here is my anemometer it's telling me we've got 9.2 about nine kilometers an hour wind she's spinning up there just nice and gentle this is about the speed where it starts to cut in and cut out starts generating power but uh, the problem that we got our, our demonstration trailer he's got solar panels on although we leave our little dummy light on at night you can see the lights on at the moment it's uh, our batteries are still fully charged when our batteries are charged it's not actually wanting to go under load so we'll come in here so this is our controller wind solar could controller so currently settings on it's doing 173 rpms so we'll just go through the settings so that's on the solar PV oh we've actually turned the solar off that's why the light was on to try and get a little bit of load happening you can see the little flashing circle up there I mean she's just starting to to go under load so it's putting 8.2 volts uh, doing 126 rpms which is good it wasn't actually going under load before because the batteries were full so let's go back here 6.3 volts must be just about ready to drop back off yep so it's just gone dropped out from put being under load it's not doing any amps now but generally that would have been putting out one amp hour before being under load so how this controller works this this trailer is actually designed for our wind solar hybrid street lights to to demonstrate this and uh, how it actually functions is that when at night time when the Sun goes down the solar panels stop producing power the controller picks up that there's no power being generated and it goes into night mode and that's when the lights automatically come on so that's how that works but the wind turbine itself so long as there's wind it will generate power and also when there's the, the batteries need need power but when they're fully charged it just won't go go under load so that's pretty much how it works it's a great concept we're super super impressed uh, with it let's come back out here again so I can't even hear that from here let's whisper quiet 20 decibels in actual fact uh, as the wind picks up you can hear it uh, swishing around a little bit more uh, so we did a, uh, another test in another location and it was a little bit more wind on that particular day. She was spinning at 300 RPMs, putting out 4.4 uh, amps back into the battery. So where we are here, we're sort of down beside the edge of the water, beside the boat ramp. And this is the harbour in Coffs Harbour. Beautiful little spot. Whereas well, you can see the, the, um, the headland, just the, the hill over there, and see those row of trees. So we're actually in a little bit of a valley here, probably about oh, four, four or five, six metres maybe below where that is. So our turbine is about five or six, five, or probably about five and a half metres up in the air here. So we just picking up the, the bottom of the where all the wind is we'll go back in here and check it again 
So it still hasn't gone back under load. Need to drop a little bit more power out of the batteries. And uh, yeah, the beauty with, with these, this system, uh, the company Aura Solutions is the licensee for the, the, the turbine in Australia. I've spent two years refining this particular baby there, the, um, the, the, wind, the wind solar controller. Um, a lot of money has gone into refining that to get all the programming right. So we know it works. If you've got any more information or we'd like to know a little bit more, send us an email or give us a call. You can check us out at revolutionenergy.net.au. I'm Steve Strange and uh, I'm signing off.